Hey guys, my name is Bridie. I am a music photographer based down in Brighton. Um, I'm absolutely honoured to be doing this chat for Songs Behind the Music. I'm really excited about it. So yeah, let's get straight to it. <laughs> um, so I've worked as a music photographer for I would say the last six years. Um, I absolutely love it. I think that it's really fun. It changes all the time. I get to be my own boss most of the time. Um, so yeah, it's just, it, it's really great. Um, obviously it can have its very difficult moments. I don't always find touring that easy because you're away from home for such a long time. Um, so yeah, things like that can get a little bit tricky, but yeah, it's like everything really. It, it It's incredibly rewarding, but can be very challenging and very stressful at times. Um, I started out by shooting gigs around Brighton, reaching out to bands where I could and just being like, can I come along with my camera? <laughs> and yeah, they would let me. And eventually this band called uh, Demo Pappy ended up picking me up and being like, oh, will you come on tour with us? And we're going on tour with Jack White from the White Stripes. So I went from running around Brighton with my little camera to being in my first tour van and going to these like arenas that Jack White was playing and like getting catering and you know all that kind of stuff but the boys were like Bridie this is not what touring is like <laughs> it's not always catering it's uh usually service station sandwiches which now I know but at the time I was just chuffed to be sitting there with my delicious catered dinner um, I was, anyway, I was really grateful for that to be my first tour. Um, and from that point, it was kind of a snowball effect. So I worked with D-Mob for a long time and then people started picking me up like Yonica, um, Frank Carter, just, yeah, a bunch of, a bunch of different people who I loved bits and have really, really enjoyed working with. Um, for me, music photography has actually really helped me boost my confidence and actually face my phobias because <laughs> I grew up incredibly claustrophobic um always having issues getting on trains planes tubes buses very limited and that also meant that unfortunately I couldn't go in crowds because I was just so terrified <laughs> like the idea of a mosh pit was like absolutely not so I would always kind of stand at the back with my little with my little drink um yeah, so obviously becoming a music photographer was very much baptism of fire because if there wasn't a photo pit, I would have to get in the crowd and just do it. Um, so now I I honestly don't have an issue at all, really. Um, the biggest issue that I have is just if I'm in a mosh pit and someone knocks me over or, you know, my camera breaks or <laughs> unfortunately if someone grabs me or I see someone getting grabbed which happens more than I would like um but I think that you know charities like Safe Gigs for Women are doing amazing amazing things by creating a safe space for women and non-binary people to be able to enjoy gigs um and just like feel like equals to everyone else really like there's no reason that we should have to go to gigs and feel uncomfortable or scared because gigs are you know music that people love and somewhere for people to go and celebrate things that they love so much and and share their passions and come together as a community so you know for someone to feel scared to be in that scenario is just rubbish so <laughs> safe gigs for women are doing such an amazing thing which is why i'm so chuffed to be chatting about them today um i would like to see more women and more non-binary people on the road especially in crews so i think like working more recently in photo pits i've noticed a lot more uh women and non-binary people in the photo pits which has been really 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 cool like when I started, it was just like me and uh, like a lot of a lot of men with their big cameras, um, and I did feel like a little bit intimidated. But <laughs> I've kind of grown to get used to that and just deal with it. Um, but yeah, recently I found it actually really hard to get photo passes because shows have been oversubscribed, and most of the people shooting it have been like amazing female and non-binary creatives. So you know it's 
such a cool thing to see and I think that you know there's so many different styles being put out put out there of, of photography and it's yeah it's just such an exciting world to be a part of and it's been so cool to watch it expand um I do think one huge way the music industry could absolutely improve is to have more um women on crew because I that is something I rarely see I rarely see um a female on non-binary stagehand it's always men um so a lot of the time I, I've ended up being like the only woman on a tour with like I don't know like 20 guys which it, you know is all right but I'd, I'd really like to see a shift and see it become a bit more of an even playing field because there's so many badass women and non-binary people out there and I know we've got space to have more on board and yeah I think I think that times are changing and it's been really exciting to be part of it and see it um so yeah I think that's a little bit about me and I would love to chat to more of you so if I can ever help with any advice or if you have any questions um just give me a shout my Instagram is bridey 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 <laughs> um so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing work new work and I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing some of you on the road <laughs> bye